Hi, so this video is not an assignment. It is something that I think will be really helpful though, especially as we move forward with the doll doodles, the drawing tutorials. Um, so it's just kind of like a conversation on shapes um, as well as drawing in general. So a lot of times I meet kids and adults who are like, I can't draw. That's not true, you can draw. It's just some people, it's a little bit more difficult for them and or they haven't practiced enough to feel comfortable to say like, I can draw. Um, but everybody can draw. It's just like music or athletics. The more you practice, the better you get, okay? You don't get worse by practicing, all right? Um, and when we practice, we start by just doing like the fundamentals or the basics. For example, if I were gonna tell you like draw this, a lot of people might be like, what? Like that's really complicated and they would just kind of shut down because they can't do it. Um, but if you broke it down into simple shapes, it's a little bit more manageable. It's kind of like when you get homework, right? You say you get 10 math problems. You don't sit down and work on all 10 at the same time. You do the first one and the second one. And if you're not sure how to do the third one, you skip that, go to the fourth, and maybe come back and work on the third one again when you've had a little bit more practice. It's the same thing with drawing. So, you know, if I were to come in and start drawing this, I'm not gonna try to do all these teeny tiny details from the get. What I'm gonna do is break it into simple geometric shapes. So if I could just draw this forearm, I would probably make it like a rectangle, okay? Or if you feel strong and comfortable and confident in your drawing abilities, maybe you come in with like a cone shape for this forearm. Then we do like a circle for the hand. Then we come in and like kind of start tightening up the drawing. So we erase lines, we add lines, we push things over a little bit, kind of work on the proportion and the sizing. Um, but starting with those simple shapes is a really great way to, to accomplish any drawing. So when it comes to drawing, the two different types of shapes we're gonna talk about would be organic versus geometric. So if I put in a little T chart right here, we've got our, our organic. If we can see that, yeah, that looks okay. And then we have our geometric shapes. Okay, so a geometric shape, those are the things we learn like in kindergarten, right? So the first shape we usually learn is a circle. Um, in when I'm helping kids draw or anybody draw, uh, I'll break it down into simple shapes or sometimes I even use letter shapes. So instead of being a circle, it's an O. Um, so we've got our circle, we can have a square, we can have a rectangle, you could have a star, I've got a star on my shirt here. Um, these are all shapes that are pretty specific. Um, you, like you know what a circle is supposed to look like there's not a lot of guesswork into it. For example, if I gave the assignment to 20 people to draw a two inch right triangle, um, chances are we would get some drawings that are nearly identical because pretty much everyone knows what a right triangle looks like and you know you can use a ruler to figure out two inches and be good to go. Um, with organic, it's a little bit harder because it's a little more subjective. For example, um, if I told everybody to draw a two inch daisy, I might get something that looks like this. I might get something that looks like this. I'm not sure if these are all two inches. Um, somebody might come in and do something kind of like this where it's like a side view of the daisy, right? There's the ground. So it's everybody is different, okay? Uh, organic um, shapes are gonna be a little bit more subjective, okay? We find organic shapes in nature all the time. Um, things like trees, uh, amoebas. Every time I think of the word organic, I just picture like um, being in high school and learning about amoebas, okay? So organic versus geometric. Geometric shapes are significantly easier to draw. Um, because we know what they're supposed to look like, okay? We, we've seen circles, we've seen triangles, we get what they're supposed to look like. If I said draw an elbow, you might be like, draw what? Like, because we don't spend a lot of time looking at elbows. But if I said to you, you know, draw a uh, square, which just kind of has a square shape to it right here, all right? And then I told you to curve it on the sides and make a letter V shape and a letter U shape. These are things that you're like, yes, I can do these things, all right? So when we go into our drawing tutorials, I may reference geometric or organic shapes. More often it's gonna be a geometric shape um, because they're really simple to do and that'll help you build step-by-step step to create the drawings that you wanna do. So the next time somebody says they can't draw, um, if you can draw a simple shape and you know your ABCs, 
you're probably wrong because you can definitely draw. It just might not look the way you want it to yet. Um, but don't forget, we've always got to start somewhere, right? Um, and then before you know it, your drawings are going to be super awesome and you'll be really proud of them. So, um, yep, just remember, organic versus geometric. And I will see you guys for the Dole Doodles.